and just how Marillion one day would headline. Tonight's the night, and let's go meet him. Time take one. <laughs> and here we are in the dressing room with Fish and Mark from Marillion. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello. 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 Fish, how does it feel to headline at Hammersmith then? It's great. It's becoming uh, one of those nice habits now. This is uh, this will be a fourth, fourth time at Hammersmith tonight. Two in the first two, one at Christmas, and these three gigs over the weekend now. It's incredible into the tour. I, I read somewhere that you uh, you were happy at one stage to uh, headline your own local gig in, in Buckinghamshire. Yeah. And you was happy at that. It must be great now. Yeah. I remember the kick we got when we, we played a, a support at the Marquee way back in October 82. Oh. It's uh, to do Hammersmith. Hammersmith tends to be, uh, for, for us, very much a sort of party atmosphere because, I mean, the fans in Britain are, like, so loyal that they travel in from Birmingham, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Cardiff and everything to, to come to the Hammersmith Odeon. They really follow you around? Yeah. That's right. Every night you always get half a dozen people that will say, you know, I'll see you at Hammersmith. You no, know, and you can be anywhere in the country. You know, there's always some that will travel. You, know, and you see familiar faces. Oh, yeah. Before we signed the deal with EMI, we'd been touring for about one and a half years to gigs all the time because the industry in general had turned around and said that a band like ourselves was playing eight minute songs, nine minute songs wasn't needed. They were wanting three and a half, four minute efforts. And uh, we decided we didn't want to prostitute ourselves in that manner and went through the clubs. And what we had to do was uh, pull record company people down to sold out marquee dates. And uh, it was through gigs that the, the name got about. I mean, we did what, 13 gigs at the marquee in 1982. And, uh, it was through that we, we developed this, this huge following. Really not obviously a growing force, uh, bigger audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, will you continue to go back and play those small clubs, or will you go on to the, the mega uh, arenas with video screens and uh, you know doing gigs by telephone? Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet by any means. I mean, uh, but in years to come, this, perhaps in years to come. Not thought about it at the moment. I mean, we, we tend to let things grow naturally, you know, rather than. I mean, the, the way to look at it, I suppose the classic way is to look at it, like in a plant that grows. I mean, if if you're trying to fast grow a plant, but the worst thing you can do is put 24 hours sunlight in it because it just mutates and dies. And uh, the same way as like in a band, what you do is just like feed it the necessary things to keep it going, uh, ego morale wise, cr creativity wise, and let the whole thing branch out. And that's probably one of the reasons why, you know, we're looking forward to being around in another five years. Does it worry you in any way that the bigger you get, perhaps the more aloof or away from the fans that have took you there, that mm. you might get? Uh, it becomes more difficult to actually, you know, uh, keep that that um, channel open as far as like like keeping in contact with fans and that sort of thing. You know, like no matter what you do, as far as um, say, for example, people say, "Why don't you talk to us?" And so you you say, "I'm right, going to sign some autographs after a gig," yeah, and and we have done that most of the dates on this tour, and. Uh, you know, you get in a situation where people say, well, why can't we stand around in a, a crowd and just have a chat, you know? They say, we've all got a file pass, and they Can get I come into your living know. room? Yes. Yeah. Can I live with you? No, it's, um. it's up to us, I think, just to, to try and retain that contact. I think it is possible. Yeah. I mean, you know, I hate the term rock star, and uh, I don't think there's, there's no rock stars in this band. Well, I think we're a, we're a very down-to-earth band. But tonight it's very much live, isn't it? Yeah. And it's Hammersmith, it's the big night. We're going to let you go and uh, we're about an hour away. Yeah. Feeling good? Feeling absolutely brilliant at the moment. Just hitting the curve nicely. Yeah. 